Hello, I wanted to put together a quick video on burnout. Burnout seems to be a big theme right now. It's coming up a lot in my coaching conversations. Leaders within organizations are finding themselves heavily scheduled on Zooms in long days, long weeks, with very little time for rejuvenation. And combining this with work demands and pressures are also really feeling that buildup now of stress, um, which can accumulate and become burnout. So let's define burnout burnout first. Burnout, and these are the things to look out for, could manifest in feelings of exhaustion, mental and physical. It could manifest as feelings of disengagement or detachment from your work and feelings of negativity and cynicism towards your work. So if you are noticing those signs, definitely worth taking action sooner rather than later. Burnout doesn't happen overnight. It is a product of accumulated stress and it doesn't reverse overnight either. It can take even months to unwind and that's why it's worth addressing it earlier. A simple model which comes from the positive work, positive organizational uh, behavior uh, literature is the job demands and resources model. So think about on one hand your resources in your work and on the other hand your demands. So resources are all the things that enable you to do your work. That includes your emotional fitness, your psychological well-being, your IQ, your competence, your knowledge about your work, but also social resources like your peer group, your colleagues, your supervisors, all the people that you interact with in your work that enable you to get your work done and organizational resources. So is it an organization that provides a lot of well-being support and coaching and mentoring and learning that enable you to keep upskilling to meet the demands of your job? These are all resources that enable you to get your job done. On the other side, we have demands. And these are all the things that we are asked to do that can come at some cost. So, you know, sort of anything that requires emotional labor uh, comes at some form of a cost to us. Um, there are physical demands, whether that is because we're in a physically demanding job or because we're in a kind of job where we are forced to sit at a desk and be on screens all day. Uh, these are still physical demands. So there's a whole series of demands. And the, the question is, you know, when, when these two are aligned or never in full balance, but, you know, sort of close to each other that's when you'll get feelings of engagement you'll feel stretched but you'll be supported you'll feel challenged but you'll feel safe it's a great place to be it's a place of engagement and it's that place where we feel good about our work where your resources are too high like you've got too much time on your hands or you've got um your abilities are too high sorry I just drifted off there because I was imagining having too much time on my hands um but your resources are too high and your job and, and the demands are too low, that's when you might experience boredom. Where we are with the burnout is uh, prolonged states where the demands are a lot higher than the resources. That becomes stress and that stress accumulates over time uh, to become burnout. So what I often work with with clients is let's think through your resources, both your personal emotional resources, but also your social resources and your organizational resources. And let's think through these demands, again, uh, emotional ones, physical ones, and then let's figure out where we can have control to increase our resources. And there's a lot around the emotional resilience and psychological well-being. Uh, even things like increasing our own self-kindness and self-acceptance uh, can be very valuable if they're done in a, you know, a way that is relevant to the individual. And where can you work to address some of the demands that are being placed on you? So we would look at both sides. And of course, if there are things that are out of your control and for a long period of time, then either that's an opportunity to raise the kind of the mismatch uh, with the people around you, or it is an opportunity to look at the resources in a much bigger way to think about how you can support yourself. So I hope this has given you a way to think about burnout be aware of it for yourself, notice the signs early and just giving you a simple framework for you to think because as you think through your resources and your demands, you might realize, okay, that's where I can see that there's a real glaring gap and that's something I can do, do about it. Um, and that's what I'm really hoping to encourage you all to be able to do. Thank you.